So Israel Adesanya obviously was mashing through the middleweight division until his rival Alex Pereira showed up. But as he gets back on the proving ground here tonight, DC, most people believe on any given Saturday night, this is still the best middleweight in the world. Well, he's proven it time and time again. He has been the man for so long, it would seem hard for him not to operate in that space. But because he believes in himself, because he recognizes who he is, he takes wins and losses as good as anyone I've ever seen. But when it comes down to the XCO, the guy in his fight ability, Israel Adesanya is as good as they come. A phenomenal kickboxer in much improved wrestling that allows for him to stay upright and make guys fight him when he needs to. Really seems as though he is getting closer to that mixed martial arts prime to your point in terms of putting all the skills together. Israel Adesanya, the last style member, back in the octagon. to right now where we get to watch two of the greatest fighters of all time finally lock on. Oh, nice right hand by the champ, yeah. Woo! Israel out of Sonya. I don't even know what that was, but it certainly looked pretty, DC. This man brings so many different things to the table as a striker, and I would think would be a very difficult guy for his fellow middleweight contenders to prepare for. All right, round one action here, and he's not wasting any time getting the takedown. We kind of felt like it would be there for him, and he's able to get the kickboxer down early. Why fight him where he's good? 
Take him down. Darce. Yep, he's trying to hit a Darce here. That Darce choke is tight. It looks like the Darce choke is in. He's got it locked in now. What he's got to do is start to feed his hip, try to hook the leg so that his opponent can't roll to his back. There's the Everybody in this arena still digesting this result. What a win for him tonight, and he gets it done by submission, no less. He said he was going to get it done by submission. To watch an athlete call the shot is always fun. He should be very proud. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for tonight and got the submission victory. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at one minute, 23 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out and still the undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John So John Jones, your winner by submission here tonight. He's had so many memorable submission wins, sort of dropping Lyoto Machida unceremoniously on the canvas, and he adds to his record here tonight. It speaks to Jones' finishing instinct. 